Hey everyone, welcome back. We've talked about entry-level ceramic coatings. We've briefly touched upon paint protection films. Today we're going to talk about 9H, highly concentrated, your real deal ceramic coatings. And in particular, we're going to talk about uh, the Kamikaze brand, the Myobi coating. They offer quite a few coatings, um, a couple just for professional detailing and detailing shops, and quite a few for uh, public use. So I want to start with one that's user friendly, real easy to use. It has about a two year average uh, lifespan of uh, good hydrophobic protection. Again, easy to, to apply. The kit you can purchase comes with the coating itself. It also comes with an applicator foam block. And it also comes with three or four of your micro suede applicators. Kamikaze is headquartered in Japan. It was founded in 2013. Let's take a look at application on a car I have ready to go. Okay, so we're going to pull one micro suede sheet out from the pack. This will be wrapped around the foam applicator block. This is what the chemical gets transferred from the bottle onto the surface of your car with. Here's the foam applicator block. And what I like to do so I don't have to squeeze the micro suede around the block is cut some slits, one on either side, about a half inch into the block. And then we can wrap and tuck the micro suede sheet into the block and only have to hold on and secure, secure the block as you're applying the product. I have two microfibers, brand new clean ones, edgeless. I mark one of them because one of them is going to be for the primary coat. The other one's going to wipe off the excess. We're going to take off the lid and it's very important to take off the lid and clean the threads around the lid and the entrance to the bottle because there could be some crystallization hanging in there from some of the product curing and drying. We want to remove all of that completely. Even use um, an air chuck if you have to for around the threads. That'll um, keep you from getting it on the application pad and marring the surface. So we're going to have an eyedropper and we're going to put a couple drops and prime the application block. We're going to start to apply very light pressure just drag the block left to right first again light pressure don't lift the block keep it on the surface just slide it back and forth if you lift the block set it back down you're gonna you're gonna give yourself more high spots that you'll have to remove later so just keep it down slide it around the car from left to right then when you do a nice big section we're gonna go up and down when it comes to gear very important I don't have the gloves on now, but you will see me have them on later. I forgot them at first. I'm only human. I do have a little thin breathing apparatus on here. I don't like the odor of these things. All right, let's talk about how the product flashes. Some of the concentrated coatings like this will flash quickly. You can only do one panel at a time and have to come back and wipe off the product. This one here happens to be very user friendly. You can do a whole, whole hood at a time, a large hood or a roof or even two doors or a fender and a door and then come back 10 to 15 minutes later and be able to remove the product no problem at all. And that's basically what I do. I'm going to wait about 10 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes before I come back and wipe off the product and level it off with both towels. Some coatings you can only get away with about five minutes max before it really starts to get tacky. This one here, I've forgotten about, uh, I've forgotten myself and gone down the whole side of a car and around the back. 22 minutes later, uh, I uh, kind of realize what I'm doing <laughs> and uh, I go back to wipe it off and it comes off easily. It's very user friendly, guys. This is a great coating. The look it's going to give you is marvelous. It is a sharp shine. Some will give a warm glow. 
Um, some will give a nice glossy look. This is just a, a nice, very sharp shine. Great protection, average of two years, very hydrophobic, UVA, UVB resistant. In some upcoming videos, we're going to talk about what can be combined with it, what it can be stacked with. Uh, this just happens to be a job here where I'm going to top it with Mayabi Overcoat. It is a dedicated topper for this product. And here I want to bring you in and show you what it looks like after applying to that section I was just working on. Like a hazy sort of cloudy film. And it's not going to flash like uh, some of the coatings. It's actually going to look like this even 15-20 minutes later when you come back to remove it. So I'm just going to hop over to the other side and do a little work and let that cure some more. Back to the overcoat. Just as user friendly, it's a topper. It's a sacrificial layer for this coating here. It happens to have a nice warm glow to it. So when you put it on top of this, which is a sharp shine, the, the finish is just impeccable. I'm gonna walk around the car when I'm done and give you a little taste of that at the end of the video. This coat here is meant to be applied to painted surfaces or coat, clear coated surfaces. So I'm gonna, get all, I'm gonna get all the painted surfaces uh, under the hood, door jams, uh, the customer paid for the product. I'm not gonna skimp out. I'm gonna apply to every surface that I possibly can. And this is how I reload the pad. I just put one stripe all the way across and then get right back to it. I'm gonna bring you in close, show you what it should look like as you're applying it. As you can see here, the product easily spreads out, nice and thin. Nice even layer, just keep the pressure light. I'm just pushing it with one or two fingers as I'm guiding the, the, the pad back and forth. I don't lift it up, I keep it down. Gives me a nice flat surface to remove later. If you lift up and put the block down repeatedly, you're gonna have high spots all over the place. Again, the Myabi is made for clear coated surfaces. However, they have a coating, the ISM, a little bit more pricey, but it can cover everything on the surface, uh, the outside surface of your vehicle, including plastics and trim. So you can actually even use it as a dedicated trim coating and restore because it brings even faded trim back to a nice, dark, rich color and then protects it for years as well. I'm going to get to that in the future videos. All right, let's talk about the two towel removal method. I have the first one that's marked. I'm gonna use that to get most of the product off in one, one little pass. I'm gonna use the second one to get any product that has been pushed to panels I haven't treated yet. I don't want any high spots. They, they dry dark, no matter what color you're applying to. So I'm gonna go around and get all the surrounding parts and then go over the area I just treated and mop that to perfection. As you can see here, the surface is like glass where the product is being cured. Again, starting off with the towel, it's marked, quickly flipping over to the secondary towel and finishing up. When it comes to tight areas, obviously the block we started with is not going to do it in every area of the vehicle. So I went out to, you can go to any CVS, uh, Walmart, whatever, go to the makeup department and most of them will have a bag of cut pieces of foam like this for makeup removal. I'm going to use this to apply here. I'm going to apply the product in tight areas and corners that the block that comes with the kit will not reach. And it does an excellent job. These same foam pads are great for the wheel area. This is a clear coated wheel. So I'm gonna go in with the same product. Uh, Kamikaze does have a dedicated rim coating for wheels that can withstand high temperatures, but it was in the budget just to use this one on this clear coated alloy wheel and it will work just fine. And as I mentioned before, every square inch of the vehicle under the hood, in the trunk, or in the door jams here that has clear coat or painted surfaces, I'm going to treat it with the Miyabi.
And with so much product and so little surface of the car to cover, as a bonus, we were able to treat and protect his coated carbon fiber trim in the interior. It was already really drying out and starting to fade. And you can see how this just restores it back to a nice, dark, rich satin finish. And finally, for other hard to reach areas, just simply take the micro suede off the block and just wrap it around your fingers and reach in tight areas from there. And as the finished product sits here, I'm gonna take you around and let you see the results, which speak for themselves. This had two coats. Um, you can wait one to two hours for a second coat. I had the time and uh, had the customer's car long enough. I could wait a full 24 hours and put a second coat on. And then a couple hours later or the next day, the overcoat. And this is what you have. Really hard to tell if the camera or this video is doing it justice, but the car in front of me looks like it's dripping wet, flowing off the panels. All right, so that was the Kamikaze Mayabi glass coating. There are quite a few others from the Kamikaze line. There are some toppers. There's prep we can talk about. And I do want to touch upon some of the other brands at some point. So stay tuned. If you have any questions, don't hesitate at all. Brian from Apex Detail. Catch you in the next video.